Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and today I wanted to share a little haul with you all. Uh, this weekend was Labor Day weekend and so we decided to go garage selling. And there weren't quite as many garage sales as we hoped there would be, but we still found some really cool stuff and so I wanted to share it with you all today. The first thing we found was this helmet and Jeremiah wanted to get it because there's tons of different cosplays and stuff that you can use a helmet for um, that you know you can either wear this helmet or add on to it or um, just even just use it as a base for making your own head headgear of sorts and so Jeremiah grabbed this he wanted to get it and it was only two dollars at a garage sale so I think that is a pretty good deal for a helmet that can be used in a lot of different ways at the next place we stopped at we found a few different things first off was some patterns there was one cute little kids pattern that I wanted to get but unfortunately it was missing some of the main pieces so I did get two I found this maternity pattern and it shows how to make this top and dress it's like you can make either one out of this pattern and it's just it's a cute design and I don't know if I'll actually for sure get around to using it or not but I want I definitely wanted to go ahead and get it and it's just a really nice casual top that would be very comfortable to wear and the second pattern that I got is this little boys pattern I just thought it was cute it's vintage um, it even shows how to make the hat it shows the hat the pants and the coat in this and the patterns were 25 cents each so I figured for a quarter I couldn't go wrong and then next we found actually two of these but I'm only going to show you one um, these wooden boxes there are cigar boxes and um, I just they're a really cool size and then I opened them up and I saw all of these glass tubes there's 25 glass tubes in each and they originally held cigars in them but I thought it would be cool to sort craft supplies in them like um, beads or buttons or just different little things I could put them in the tubes keep them organized and it would just be a really interesting way to store some of my smaller supplies and then of course you can close it up and it's just a really cute box and uh, Jeremiah got one for him as well these were a dollar each and he wants to use his for like DIY steampunk or cosplay or some sort of prop and so he'll be doing cool stuff with his I'm just gonna be organizing with mine next up we hit an estate cell which are so fun. Estate sales are really interesting. You never know what you're going to find in an estate sale. This one had a ton of Christmas decorations and a lot of really, really nice things that if we had an unlimited amount of money in a huge house, we would have grabbed some stuff. But uh, we had to control ourselves. And But we did end up getting one thing and it is this massive paper cutter, like you use in an office and it works really well and it'll be fun for paper crafting I can just cut the paper really quick super accurate and not have to worry as much about you know hand cutting everything and it being slightly off or something so I got this paper cutter for six dollars and lastly we came across a thrift store we had never actually seen this thrift store before and it just looked really cute it was in like a little turquoise building and it just it seemed cute so we decided to stop after we hit all the garage sales and um, we didn't realize at first they were actually having a half off sale for Labor Day so everything in the thrift store was half off and we bought a few things first off was this tiny little lens and it is super little and um, I don't even know what it's for um, like it's not in the original box so I have no idea what this lens was for originally um, but Jeremiah wanted to get it and play around with it and see what he could do with it and it was half off like I said so it was only a dollar for that little lens so even if we never end up you know finding a use for it it was a dollar so that's not bad at all I couldn't help myself I got 
this little vintage romper onesie, whatever you want to call it. It is a many mouse one and it is six to nine months and I just thought it was really cute. And then the half off price made it only 75 cents so I went ahead and got it. So it's just too cute. And then lastly, I came across some fabric that I wanted to get at the thrift store. Um, I've been working on some different rag quilts, and so I'm always on the lookout for some nice fabric to use for the backing that's not going to cost too much, but it's going to be durable. And I found these two plaid fabrics. And I have absolutely no idea what type of fabric they are. They are vintage, um, they still have like an original tag on it where someone bought it and it was like handwritten on how much yardage and stuff, but I could not even guess what kind of fabric this is, <laughs> uh, but it seems sturdy and it's just nice, I just, I like it. And so I thought this would be really nice on the back of denim rag quilts, I just thought the plaids would be so nice. Um, they were originally supposed to be 99 cents each, and they were half off, so I got both of these fabrics for a dollar total. So that is my haul for today. I know it wasn't a whole lot of stuff, but I just, it was fun. We had a lot of fun garage selling and thrifting, and I just wanted to share it with you all. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what good bargains you have found lately, and I will see everyone again soon. Bye!